Hello, my Jason. Oh, welcome back to episode recap for episode 24 of Twin Star Exorcist. The episode is The Kagiri's Dream, What is Beautiful? And this is what interesting episode here. I mean, the filler arc has been pretty lackluster uh, thus far, but they've done pretty something pretty interesting with a particular Kegiri. Seems like he's in the individual stage of a Kegiri and a Basara, seems like, because he has conscious thoughts, at least some sort of conscious thoughts, and it can speak as well. I would equate him to an Ajusha, or however you pronounce that, and Bleach, you know, that in-between stage between a Menos Grande and a... Uh, a Runcar uh, themselves, or a, va a Vassal Lord is the uh, term I think it is. And so that in-between stage, where they're both a beast and also a humanoid at the same time, uh, he didn't really have a specific sort of name, uh, just mostly uh, Sae calling him Lion San. Uh, that was basically uh, his actual name. I think uh, his, he calls himself Leo as well. And so a very interesting uh, look at Leo, him being a sort of conscious sort of figure, uh, trying to find something beautiful. He didn't want to fight. He didn't really hurt Sae. He mostly saved her uh, from falling. And he wanted to see something beautiful. And Sae, hearing that uh, from the Twin Stars and Rokuro Benio, hearing that the bright light of an amusement park is what is something that is beautiful, that is what Sae is trying to show. Uh, Leo's, and so definitely Leo uh, is trying to look for something beautiful. Very interesting look at a Basara in this episode here. And this whole amusement park sort of thing came about because that's where a dragon spot is, first of all, but also Rokuro was imagining, I think it was like the first few episodes, the first episode of the series when he went to an amusement park with Mayura, and he is uh, thinking about her boobs, and Venya was jealous uh, that she wasn't invited along uh, to an amusement park at any time uh, during their uh, time together, and so definitely Rokuro is in a pinch uh, there, but at the amusement park, they do run into another group of exorcists who play no part in the episode here. I thought that was disappointing. I thought that could be a really good uh, way to sort of um, sort of kill off, you know, quote unquote, kill off your characters, not in a physical sense, but a, a sort of mental and psychological sense. Because at the end of this episode, after Leo uh, sees the bright lights of the amusement park, he sees something beautiful, he cries, very emotional sort of moments for him, and a very nice moment for the twin stars, seeing a Kegiri uh, sort of in a different sort of light. But the 12 Guardians, um, two of which uh, by the name uh, Sada Sakura and Seize Miku, uh, they pretty much kill off Leo. They're the ones who set off the lights of the amusement park and told the twin stars that this is the part of the ever-going war between Kegiri and Exorcist. That Exorcist lived to kill Kegiri and Kegiri lived to kill Exorcist and nothing will ever change uh, because of that despite what Leo has shown us in this episode here. So it kind of presented a us against the world a mentality between the twin stars and every other Exorcist and I didn't really like that there because uh, especially as a manga reader, uh, that is not exactly the relationship we see in between the twin stars and other exorcists. You know, obviously there is friction uh, there, but mostly because the twin stars are this uh, hailed heroes of sorts compared to everyone else who worked really hard in order to get their powers, in order to maintain their status within this exorcist world, and sort of antagonizing the twelve guardians, you know, very important characters of the series, especially in Zayde Miku, who's playing a big part right now in the current manga arc uh, that's going on occurring. Currently, and Sada Sakura isn't really much around, she just kind of pops up here and there in the manga, and sort of antagonizing these characters really is a detriment towards them, sort of detriment towards the audience perception of the Twelve Guardians, and sort of, I know there are already very shady things going on, especially with Arima, what he's doing, especially the manga hasn't revealed that just yet, you know, there's always some shady things uh, going on, but still, you don't really just want to sort of knock it out of the park, you might like create antagonists with these characters, I thought you could just use the other exorcists in the area area in order to sort of create antagonists there because that can also create better uh, us against the world mentality with the twin stars, Arima and the high exorcist, the 12 guardians and every other exorcist on the lower levels. Especially that vibe we saw in the last episode there we kind of set it up that the uh, other exorcists aren't a fan of the twin stars because of the fact that they are hailed as sort of messiah figures uh, compared to everyone else who put in their hard work in order to get their positions and their groups and so I thought that could have been a really nice building off points to some of the characters from the last episode to build it up there to other exorcist groups, but they didn't really do that, so that's really disappointing. Uh, there, uh, Sae, she made a friend of Leo, and she realizes that's with the, um, you know, the present, uh, the little pin that she gave Lion-san, that Lion-san is 
probably not to where um, Rokuro and Benio are telling her. She, so she realizes that Rokuro and Benio are lying to her, so rather build up there uh, towards what Sai is, you know, what her character is, and what her relationship will be like in the future uh, with Rokuro and Benio. And so for Rain Game, this episode 2.5 out of 5, pretty um, meh episode overall. There are some interesting things being done here, um, some cute moments as well. The Ohagi origami that Sai made for Benio, that was a cute moment there. Uh, some weird plot holy uh, twists uh, sort of things, just very minor things, but the fact that Kimiko, he could possess an RV, but the RV doesn't have locks, or he just can't lock the doors, and so Sai just gets out willy-nilly at any sort of moment, so it just it creates a sort of uh, ex machina uh, sort of thing there for Sai to be involved within the uh, fray of the action, so a very uh, weird thing uh, going on there. Again, sort of antagonizing the 12 Guardians, wasn't really a big fan of all that uh, there. I thought they could have made some better story cho choices, especially this being filler arc, you know, definitely a perception that a lot of audiences will have if they have not read the manga. And so, very um, bold choice, I would say, but not a, fan, a choice that I'm a fan of, personally. And what are your thoughts based on this episode? Pray thoughts me in the comment section down below. Don't forget to rate this video, share this video as well, really helps me, I really appreciate that. And also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching episode recap for episode 24, Twin Star Exorcist. The episode is The Kegari's Dream, What is Beautiful. Please have a nice day. Bye-bye.